What is going on, everybody? It is exciting. I left the PJ show, said, hey, I got plenty to do and plenty to tell you about. Get home, and there's more to tell you about. So we're gonna go over Flight Scope, Swing Catalyst, they integrate now with that Mevo Plus. So we're gonna talk about using that Swing Catalyst Home Edition, how to do it, and what does it do? What's going on everybody? Scott Hogan coming at you. We're back, we're in the home studio. I'm excited, got some new toys, new projector that's gonna be coming out, talking about what I did and why I did it. So do not miss out on any of that stuff. Plus, we still have so much to go over from the PGA show. Gonna be rapid firing those out as fast as I can. So click that subscribe button so you do not miss out on those. Also check out, we're gonna have a lot more shorts coming out starting this week. So make sure you're a subscriber so you can see some of the short stuff. You don't wanna watch the long videos, We'll have some of this in, over there in the shorts category as well, so you can be able to check out and see some pointers about what you need to be doing. So we're gonna go over today talking about an integration where they just announced this on Friday. This was going to be Mevo Plus working with the Swing Catalyst as a partner, right? So what is Swing Catalyst? Well, what they're really known for is pressure plates, force plates, those types of things, but they also have a really, really good video analysis software that is on your PC, okay? So it's not something I've used in recent months or even probably the last year, but I used it before when I would teach more indoors being in an in controlled setting where I could use a PC. I love the software. It's better than some of the other ones that I've used, in my opinion, just a little bit easier to use and things like that. But one of the things that you had to have was a, a place to use it. Now, being back more indoors, we can actually do that. So let's talk a little bit about getting it set up and everything as we go through. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to purchase it and you do have to go through FlightScope. I will link that down below, but you do have to go through FlightScope because you need to get them and let them know that you are trying to integrate this with your Swing Catalyst and your FlightScope Mevo Plus, right? So they need to know that because that's gonna depend on what license code you get so make sure you go through the link below or go over to FlightScope and get your Swing Catalyst. This is called the Home Edition. It's $199 is the option I purchased for an entire year. So essentially what they're saying is if you buy a year, you are going to get two months free. That's how they're advertising it. So again, I think that's a pretty good deal. Most of the softwares that I see are around $50 a month or more. So that's gonna be more of a pro setup too where you can have some more cameras and stuff, but again, it gets a lot more expensive and that's a monthly fee that you have to just keep paying uh, as you go. So very good value, very good deal on what you're getting in this home edition. So to get it set up, very simple after you purchase, took about an hour, but then my code got emailed to me. So just be aware, for me, it wasn't right away. Could be it was PGA show week, everybody's traveling back and all that. That is very, very possible, but just keep that in mind. Then. You download the software. Once you start it up, it's gonna ask you for that license key. You paste it in and essentially you're ready to go and we're able to fire this bad boy up. So let's dive into the software a little bit, getting it set up and then what is it gonna be doing? All right, so we've got the software turned on. You can see as you're looking at this here, up in the top, you're gonna to see it's flight scope powered by Swing Catalyst Home Edition. Okay, so we've got that Home Edition. Once again, once you start it up, you can go through and put your code in. That will be the first thing you see. I've already done that, so this is gonna be the screen. I can click Start on here, get things going. I've already gone through and got some things set up. I'll show you how to do that, but you can see, very simple. I'm at my screen here where I've got a couple cameras set up, ready to roll. So it's super, super intuitive. I love it. You can also create a cloud account, which I would highly recommend, and you can log into that where you can actually do things with recordings and online lessons, stuff like that. So that's something I would really recommend you join there and get in that um, as you go. So just got to create account just like you do anywhere else. So we're all set up to go, but let's go back through and let's take a look at what we had to do to get to this point. Okay, so first off, obviously you got to have your computer connected to the radar. I already did that. That's pretty self-explanatory. All right, from there, we just need to go through some of our settings. So what you do is you're gonna click this orange box in the top left, I'm gonna click settings, and then that's gonna bring it to everything. I, one thing, I changed it to imperial, I was, you know, so it's not in meters. Um, you can go through and look at sounds, anything like that. 
video and capture, that's gonna be a big one where you go to, right? So it's looking at trying to get some of the settings of what it's gonna do with your videos. So if you don't really know what that means, just leave it how it is, it works great. So I would just do that. Then you're gonna go into cameras, okay? This is where you set up your cameras. Now with this home edition, you get two cameras, okay? So typically what that's going to be is a face on view and a down the line view. So from that, you can set those up in here. I'm right now, I'm looking at camera options, which I will be sharing with you when those come. But what we're looking at here is I have just a DSLR over here on the face on view. And then I have just a regular webcam that you can get like a Logitech webcam over here just for trying it out purposes. It's not gonna be perfect because I need a little bit more of a wide angle lens for the space that I'm in. But for trying it out, it's gonna work just fine. Um, so you would just go through, you can click, and you can actually see all the cameras that are connected. It's automatically gonna look and say, hey, these are all the cameras that are connected to your computer. And what you need to do is then assign that camera, right? You need to assign that camera to wherever you want it to be. So because I had two of them already selected, it wasn't gonna let me select other ones, but if I dis disable one of them, then I can select another one and go through all that. So all I really wanna do is I want this to be my face on view. I'm from the right, okay? So we're gonna go that, just select where you want it. We're gonna turn it on, that's important. And you can click this button and it will give you a little bit of a, this play button is gonna give you a little bit of a look at where that looks like. What are you looking at? What do you got going on? So then I can pause that. From there, you can go to hardware. Um, if you wanna have a microphone connected, you know, you're gonna do some lesson recording, something like that. You can, collect, you can use that. Also, it can also work as a trigger, okay? That can be your trigger to be able to get recordings to go. So that's something that is very important. But the other thing you can do, and this is one of the big reasons you have the flight scope, is you can turn on launch monitor over here and that actually will become your trigger. That's gonna be what triggers your videos to be recorded, okay? So I think a lot of people are going to want to be able to see that. So you're gonna see this, you can have some screen settings. Do you want it in you know, full swing mode? What do you wanna do? You can do all of this stuff and mess around with it based on your computer settings. I'm gonna do a little bit more of that as we go. And then again, you can go into your lessons. This is actually where you get your lesson audio. You can do that here. Um, you can do branding, stuff like that. Again, that's just uh, little preferences if you want to do those, okay? So from there, you're pretty much ready to go uh, as long as you got everything going. So we go through, we're going to bring it back to our main screen. So one thing we can do is you can either open, you know, so if I want to open up some videos that I've done in the past, those can come in here, okay? You just click that open button, and all of this is gonna be up here on the top. It's under Explorer up here. The other thing you can do is you can create a profile. Again, something that I am going to do, keep all these videos organized. If you're gonna have multiple people, whatever, I highly recommend you do that. And then you do have your capture button. I'll do that one in a sec. You have capture options. So you can say, hey, I want multi-cameras or multi-captures where it will go hey, I'm gonna hit a bunch of shots. It's gonna replay the shot in between and it's gonna keep going until you basically tell it to stop capturing. Or you can do a single capture where it just captures one capture and it captures a swing, by the way. And then you go there and then you can just do your triggers. You can adjust, if you're gonna do a microphone, you can adjust how sensitive that microphone is. Uh, we've seen that in other cameras that we use. That's just some way to trigger it so you don't have to walk over, hit record, walk back, hit your shot. It just adds up to a lot of video over a long time that is kind of wasted. And when you get into this stuff, you start realizing that space and all that stuff is a big deal. So you could do that. You do have a layout button here. Layout's just gonna let you see. So if I go into capture, now I can look at my layout. Uh, how do I want this to look essentially? Um, and you can mess around with those. Force vectors are gonna be if you have one of the force plates. Um, that's a really cool feature. I see that all the time when I'm at the PGA show. We do a lot of research and a lot of study in our industry on that stuff. And so they are sharing that information a lot down there. So it's really cool, but uh, you can do all that. So from there, you got your drawing tools on the left. I'll go over those in a sec, but uh, yeah, we're ready to capture. So what I'm gonna do is click capture ready. If you pay attention to your launch monitor, if I 
turn that off, my launch monitor is no longer armed. Once I turn that on, it arms the launch monitor, the red light's on. So that's what's gonna make it happen. You can see my video is going. Once this little dotted line on the bottom is going, we're ready to roll. So let's get a capture in here. All right, got our swing and you can see right on the screen, it is already captured, right? Already captured it, it's replaying it. I do have it on the mode where it's doing like a little bit encoding right away. So it takes a little bit of like a second or two. So you can turn that off though in the settings. It would actually, when I did that for me, it sped things up. So just keep that in mind. But let's go through, let's show you how you can see that video as you go. But again, we're in capture, multiple capture mode. You can see it is still running. So if I were to hit multiple shots in a row, it would just keep capturing them until I basically stop the capture and then we'd be ready to go. So a really cool software and uh, let's uh, look at see what we can do with it. All right, so once we're going here, okay, so we are going to look at this. Um, we are going to turn off the captures, okay? What I'm going to do is actually drag up the swing. You're gonna see the swing appear on the bottom, okay? Now you can see I drag it up. Right now I'm in a single camera mode. Okay, single camera mode, so I can change my layout. I'm gonna to go to two cameras, and now you can see I've got both cameras that I just recorded. I can also do some video overlays, right? If I have multiple videos, we can actually do overlay type stuff. Um, if you want, you can get more detailed data, all of that stuff, right? Stuff that you can mess with a little bit as you go through, right? I can get my data from the launch monitor up here, uh, whatever you wanna do. Again, stuff that you can mess with. I'm going to go with what I typically use when I'm using this is I'm going to go to a single recording. Okay. That's typically what I do. Um, on the right side over here, you can see that we've got some panels. Now this is where you can put your launch monitor data and there's a few different things you can use. So on the top, I like to do ball flight. I like to go club path. You know, I essentially like to put all the launch monitor data up. Let's just say that, right? So I've got club path. Uh, I got club, so this is where you get like angle of attack. Um, you're gonna get club path again, you get face to path, um, club speed, smash factor, and then I'm gonna go into spin, so we can just put that up there. So you got a lot of options that you can use uh, with it. You could also do some tempo stuff. You have to go through and set like your, where's your top of your backswing, where's impact. Um, you know, so you could do that and have that displayed. I, you know, I don't do that one as much. So maybe once in a while I'll do it, but I don't do it as much. This is also like, if you ever see swing catalyst data, like you see over here, if you have a force plate, they'll put this data over here. The one thing I didn't see, or I'm not seeing, I'm gonna ask them about, but when you're in capture mode, you have the bays over here as well. But when I go to them, they, they, they appear empty. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Again, I know that's where a lot of people have some of their force plate data, but uh, that was just, something I noticed as we go through. So now that we've got it, we can start using our tools, right? So if you wanted to go through and start looking at, hey, I've got, how am I doing on stance with sway, stuff like that. So you can see, hey, if I'm hitting a driver and I've got this stance, uh, I don't like that. So that's something you would work with the coach on, getting your stuff down. You can pick your colors of everything. All right, I need a line. Let's go vertical line. Here we go. Let's change one. Let's go, hey, we'll go pink. Here we go. You know, all right, now I need just a free drawing line. Here we go. Um, you got some tools that are going to be available to you, okay? So not gonna be as many tools as maybe you see in other things, but to be honest, you don't necessarily need a ton of those tools. I think there's always gonna be, you know, when I see stuff, it's like, hey, look at this angle, look at this. You always take that with a grain of salt when you're looking at video anyway, measuring angles, because you gotta make sure the video is exactly where you want to. What I like to do with video is, to me, you get these feelings, right? I'm swinging, I'm trying to feel things. I wanna just have a video confirmation that, all right, that feel is giving me what I really want to have happen, okay? So you can see on my video, again, this one on the left, my down the line is, this Logitech, I just don't have enough space to get all of me in there. I could probably lower it a little bit, but 
not by much. It still wouldn't fit. You can see on the right, that's just a DSLR camera. Actually working pretty good in this environment. It, you know, you need a lot of light, but you know, not super great. But again, we're just testing this out. I will say I'm liking how my swing on the left is looking. Uh, did some work with the arm alarm uh, at the show and I have purchased one, so we will uh, be talking about that. But getting your data, going through, having feedback. Really cool integration, making this easier for you to record yourself, get your data in one spot, and then go in there. And then obviously we have our record lesson button up here at the top if we're looking at that. What you can do with that, you just click it, that brings up the record button. All right, I'm going to start recording. Not gonna hear any sound on it because I don't have my mic hooked up, but there you go. You can pause it, okay, when you're pausing it. Um, see, you can see my air. I don't have a microphone on. It's telling me there's an air, okay? So just, that's why that air popped up. From there, I can then stop it. You know, if you wanna pause it, okay? If you wanna pause it, you can then Re -pick, you know, pick that back up at a later time. I like that because a lot of times we see that if I want to send somebody a video like of their lesson, just, hey, here's a 10 minute video. Remember what your lesson is. Then I can go from different parts. It's kind of nice when you're going through all that, right? So just stuff that we would think about and then we can email it along. What I do is upload it into a uh, coaching software that people get. But again, really cool stuff. So if you have questions about it, it is pretty new. Okay, pretty new in terms of the integration, let's say that. But if you have questions about it, I will be messing with it all weekend, gonna be using it. So if you have questions about it, please let me know. Again, I'll link it down below. You do have to go through FlightScope, go through them. It was super easy. Make sure you get the integration correct. And then uh, you install it like any other program, do a little bit of setup and you're off and running. You're filming your swing, you're getting feedback and you're doing it in a way that is easy and set up for you to do. So. Cool stuff by them. FlightScope keeps bringing it out. Swing Catalyst, another great company that does a lot of great stuff. So can't wait to see how they go with this and what else they surprise us with. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Click the subscribe button. Got Sunday rounds coming back tomorrow. Gonna talk more about my new 4K projector that I got. And I'm gonna talk to you about that process of what that was like. And I'm also gonna be talking on Monday with Scott Oden Golf Show live Q&A. Anything you have about the show, anything you need to know, let me know. All right, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace.